Did you see what Graves said the other day? No, no. what did he say? He was like, I'll cut yeah. my dick off to win the Super Bowl. Oh, he said that? Get the fuck off. Where'd he say that? Where'd he say that? Get the what the fuck, bro? I screenshot that shit. Where, what did he say that? Yeah, look it up. Look it up. Bro, see where he said that. I have it on my fucking phone, bro. Hold on. Get out your camera. Is your camera rolling? No, we gotta get... Have no, just roll. roll. Can you video right now up? Boss? Oh, yeah, that. Sure. Yeah, just hey, start... Hey, what you say? No, hang on, hang on. Go back. Say what you said. What did he say? You he said, said, did I, did we see what? It said, Mike Vrabel says he would gladly chop off his own dick to win the Super Bowl. Do you know where he said that at? It says it on Deadspin. On, on Deadspin? Well, find, find out where they got that link yet. Jayon just asked us if we knew that Coach Vrabel said that quote. Like, hey, did you guys see that what Vrabel said? Like, what did <laughs> what he say? He goes, he chopped his dick off for a Super Bowl. We're like, it shows where he said that. He's like, oh, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Where where'd you find the quote? Where's where is it at? Uh, He's going to look sure it up. I see it on Twitter. I see it on Twitter. Yeah. Look it up. Look up where he said that. Alright. And a frappuccino, bro? I had to wake up. You know? I mean, you I had to wake up. You had this? He in, said I, I had to wake up. Cali, you feel me? Bro, I'm in a Cali. I'm drinking one of those. Like, There's not. Day. Frappuccinos don't have much caffeine. It's like nothing. There's like, like 15 million. I don't million drink coffee like that. You know, well, I do drink coffee like that, but like. You say like you got one of them where, every day where, to get your roller? Where did Vrabel say this shit? Bit. Yeah, I'll keep I'm looking like, it I'm up. I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, I got it. What is that? It's on Deadspin. I pulled up a little article. Read it. Please read it. Tennessee Titans head coach Mike Vrabel is known for bold, confident style and coaching that could accurately be described as cocky. Is there a video of him saying it? It's not a video, it's just like right. I think there's a video out there. Okay, okay. It says I don't it says LaJuan. Oh LaJuan. shit. So it says uh Matt Neely said he would chop off his own dick for a Uno Super Bowl. Hey, oh, read man. that. Read right above the Lawan thing. The ver- the paragraph that says, "Go down." Oh, Vrabel expressed. It read that out loud. Vrabel expressed. Just read it out loud. Vrabel expressed the willingness to castrate himself in exchange for a Lombardi Trophy as a guest on Bussin' with the Boys. <laughs> <laughs> so you came to us. You're and on Bussin' with this the Boys right boys. now. That's where he sat there and he said that. He said this on here. What the oh, fuck? You're <laughs> one of the boys. No. And you don't even keep up with the boys? I kept up with the boys. I heard it. You, no, you he didn't just know he said, said it somewhere. Oh, put I the, didn't know he said run it Run the here. fucking tape, bro. Run, run, run this oh, shit. I'm fucking goodness. pissed off at you right now, dude. And yeah, I was man. so happy to see you. <laughs> Yo, so we got um, our guest today is Jayon Brown on the podcast, and um, he just came on. He just he just came on the bus, and he goes, "Yo, he's like, I just, got back, I just got back from Cali with a with a fucking frappuccino." Do not disrespect us on this podcast, bro. Do not disrespect us on this podcast. <laughs> Bringing a fucking frappuccino on here, bro. That's feminine. We'll tell you All why. Right? We'll tell you why what? we kicked that dude. Yeah, but the reason why I'm mad, and I didn't mean, I actually didn't mean to disrespect you that much. That was pretty disrespectful. But I will say finished. the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen someone do is you sat in the seat Mike Vrabel sat in, and you said to us, "Hey, did you see that Mike Vrabel would chop his dick off for a Super Bowl?" You, he did it on the bus. Taylor and I just it. played into and goes, "What? He said that? Where did he say that?" And he goes, "I don't know, man. I, I I saw it somewhere. He said he said he chopped his dick off for a Super Bowl." <laughs> he I was like, "Yo, yo, where, on where's that? Thing. Where's that? Oh, let me find it for you real quick. Let me find it. He's trying to help us out." And we're just sitting here like this motherfucker comes on the bus with a frappuccino. Welcome back from California, dude. Man. You're back yeah. in the South. Doesn't Shit. even keep up with busting with the boys and wants to tell us about a quote that we well, made. Since I've you know I heard the quote, I kind of he goes, "Oh, it was on Deadspin." That's Read the Deadspin article, got and then he finally he finally reads it. Already on this podcast, dude. yeah, we make Wouldn't him read be it. A bus with the boys podcast without a train going. By, we make dude. him read it out loud. Damn, like a seventh grader in middle school getting called on in a class <laughs> and <laughs> figures out. Uh, Rabel expressed his willingness to castrate himself in exchange for a Lombardi Trophy as a guest on Bussin' with the boys. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude. Either, so I'm you mad, don't, I'm mad how y'all played me into that, by the way. Y'all could have no, told, you, you know, just told me. No, we didn't want to tell you. Like, <laughs> number one, the boys, a lot of that has to do with us in the hot tub boys. saying that stuff. 
Whoa. Yeah, true. And you're supposed to be like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. A lot of that has to do with us in the hot tub together, man. <laughs> Yeah, but for real though, it is the truth. But it's like, so obviously you don't listen to the podcast. I listen. Are you subscribed? I'm not subscribed. I'm Pull yet, out your right? phone right now. Oh my goodness. This is bullshit. Dude, how, how do I just, I don't even know. If you listen, then you I've you been to California. Be, can you blame me? No, because you follow. Like you follow the boy. Like you follow us individually and you what? know we post is about it. On, it. Is it on the yeah, podcast Yeah, hit that, app? hit that purple app of podcasts, Apple Podcasts. You listen to Skip and Shannon. I do. Go to search. All right. Oh my God, he doesn't even have it on there. Hit Bussin. Bussin with the oh wow. Bussin with the boys. That's popped up. Hit that album cover. Hit subscribe. Scroll down. Scroll down. Rate five stars. Leave a review. I'm not leaving a review. I'm not leaving. I want you to leave a review and say. Boys, I'm so sorry for being disrespectful on your podcast. This is my favorite podcast. I'm gonna make it up on the podcast itself i'm not much of a uh don't backpedal like, like leave a leave a review type of guy like i use i but use yelp and everything but i never really leave a review don't you I feel don't, like you i should, don't review though? shit who who really who leaves the reviews think about it keyboard warriors and fans loyal fans loyal, good puppies, puppies out there dude. Dude. so yeah, if you tried a new restaurant boys. you found on yelp you're gonna oh damn like that was some good food Really no, but but I do lean on like re the reviews. Like I, if I see a restaurant, I scroll down. I see it's rated highly. I'll read a couple of the reviews to really get me bought in. I don't leave the reviews. If I'm in a, if I'm in a town, I don't know. I definitely do that. Yeah. Like, I go to, if, I, if I go to New York and I'm like, yo, I'm feeling some sushi, I'll look up like best sushi places around me. Yeah, but I never read the reviews. I just look at the stars. I look at the stars. Yeah, yeah. I look at the stars and never read. Or if reviews. I'm trying to get one sold on, I'll just tell Charles. I'm like, hey, this person's really verified on the Yelp reviews, so, so we can trust them. Some of the reviews, like it'd be like two reviews and five star and you can't really trust that you gotta go off the, i go off the pictures and like the, you would be a and, picture guy yeah, yeah like course. a pop-up book I'm, kind of reader too 100 percent, man and you gotta you gotta look at the pictures before you like but order. check this out if you see five star rated review or five star rated or four and a half stars you look on the side and it says like 800 and something reviews if it's only got like below 20 reviews i don't trust it as much if it's got over like a hundred or a few hundred reviews, I'm like, yo, this spot's the real deal. We got over, we have over 800 reviews. Yeah, on our pod, dude. We do. Way to bring that how back many, up. How many, how many of y'all done so far? This, I mean, uh, we got, we have done nine, I believe. Yeah, we've done a bunch. Like the thing is, is like we this past week we've done a whole bunch to backload for the season because in the season I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Taylor and I have wheeled and dealed. Like well, how many this week? Like ten. We've 12? legit done ten this week, right, Aaron? So far, yeah. we got Impressive. a few more before camp starts. We're just smacking them around, dude. But the thing is, we enjoy doing it, so it's super easy. Not it's just fun. talk to people. It's fun. I did a podcast uh, a couple days ago at uh, Uninterrupted. I pretty, saw that. That was fun. Did you plug us? Did you say my boys got a pod I called Busting with the no, Boys? No, you did not. I actually did. I swear I did. I don't know if it was on did the it, air. Did the pod though, come out yet? Sure. Nah, I, didn't, uh, I think it's going to come out during the season. In, like, All right, so yeah. they did a pre-tape like we're doing right now? Yeah. And when you have a good game, they'll probably air it. Hopefully. That, that's what that's a, that probably. Speaking yeah. of good games, dude, 75 Madden? Trash. The How mad are you? Respect, dude. Oh, uh, I mean, I made my own little little video too. It's going to come out soon on uh Madden. Madden. Oh, it's going to come out soon where? Hang on, hang on. This is where you got to follow up. Where where can they see this video? Uh on your should, Instagram? It should be coming out in, in a couple weeks. On what platform? On a uh, uninterrupted platform. Okay. Yeah. And probably also on your Instagram, which is people oh, can I, find you at Jayon Brown twelve. Instagram Perfect. and Twitter. Not my you're, you're killing it so far, dude. I appreciate it, man. You spilled on our bus too. I looked over there. Some, some you spilled on the bus. I didn't spill nothing, dude. That's your that's your frappuccino. That's a responsibility. You brought that the on the bus. Taylor, I love the, how he looked at us. I was like. You're like, what are you drinking, a Frappuccino? Like, you were trying to chirp at him, but he's like, he didn't know it, and innocently, oh, yeah, you know, I had to get going this morning. He's like, I had to take one of these every day out in Cali. Like, yo, it's whipped cream and ice cream and a little, like, caffeine. That's really what it is. Usually, I don't I don't get the whipped cream. Like, they, I forgot. Don't to lie, say, dude. That whipped cream is the best. You're lactose. I, exactly. That's why I don't get the. Don't hey, get we got the boys cream. in the back staring at that Frappuccino right now. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. that thing. Frappuccino? Hey, Frappuccino is so good, dude. It actually is really good, but. Can't be drinking it, dude. You say you're just drinking in private. <laughs> <laughs> How do you really feel about that man rating, though? We, yeah, like, you gotta like, like, give us your piece, dude. We'll watch can the we video. Up, can we pull up like the whole statistics? Yeah, of, like, bring them all up. Bring up uh, Jam Brown's Madden rating. It's so disrespectful. Or type in Madden ratings twenty. I've said my piece plenty on the show. I don't even... Man, man, they, they low-key disrespected the whole team. They, oh, what easy. were you? 
I don't know. I didn't check. Well, you shot some. Yeah, it's not <laughs> I don't know. I didn't check. <laughs> I think it was a B plus, 87. Are you 87? That's Quentin That's Nelson cool. back there. Yeah, really? Quentin Nelson, dude, 87. Dude, I was an eight, I was an 81. Hey, wait, then you wait. You made, you I was made a 21st pro, rated tackle, Pro Bowl. You used to be 87. 87. Don't you think you should be at least to be a 90 from all that? I don't know, man. I'm a young buck. Yeah, 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 Yo, Q, 80, 81. I'll be kind of There's a mic right there. Q, 81, and he's not even the highest on the Titans as an O-lineman. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Yeah, Wait, I, I got disrespected. Saffold, uh, Roger Saffold. Guard. Oh, okay. He, he's awesome. He's, he's a good player, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, that's Jaron Brown. Close. Oh. Jayon, wow, he th- he really thought. Yeah, Aaron doesn't give a fuck about football. You can just tell the way he types shit out. <laughs> I typed it. They he's spell like, checked it. He's like, what's his name? Jayon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like Jayon. First of all, oh. all right, let's see can we, we get an update on my picture? Yeah, you, look, you got the dreads in the back. That's your own fault, though. That is not my own fault. Right, yeah, you I did because you had that picture. I love my so my guy here is a seventy-five overall, <laughs> and then your awareness is eighty-three. Your speed is eighty-six. They helped you on awareness. <laughs> <laughs> your acceleration is 88 your agility is 81 Could your be strength is 74 which is about right what's um your agility can be better 81 i, I would give you a little more on that yeah you're quick you're a quick fast dude i would go 74 how, how, do you, how do you get the rest of them like where's like everything else is that it you can probably look at my just really, hit the plus wait, wait, sign wait, hey hit it. the plus sign i feel like i'm stronger than a 74 oh. no go hit the x please hit the x go up to jayon's yeah a 74 strength, that's like... Oh, I don't know what any of this means. Jumping. Hit, hit some of the other links, Aaron. Yeah. Or that arrow, that red arrow. Hit the red arrow on the right. Oh, God, dude. This is painful to watch. There we go. We're getting somewhere. There we go. Oh. All right, so awareness, I'd give you in the 70s. Speed is solid. Acceleration is solid. Agility, I'd give you more on that. What is that? What is that? E L U. Elusiveness, I believe. Elusiveness? So that's that's but running. Like, what, that's what running. What do you need back. to be elusive about? That's running back stuff. Those are running yeah. backs. Why would that even be a thing for him? I don't you know. Be, they put kind of. You're catching. Uh, that's bullshit. Your catching needs to be, I'd say, eighty. Or I'll give oh, you, you, you can 70, like 77. Get, 70 as a linebacker because you gotta take into consideration that wide receivers are probably at like eighty. I, I feel like it was yeah yeah you know what I mean like I you got you. solid hands for sure what's I'd give SFA because you you're a 39 stiff arm alright what's stiff SPM <laughs> keep going hit the arrow hit the arrow uh, jumping 79 that, that's about right I never really okay. had hops okay you never had hops never never really had hops alright what was your what was your you uh, look at his at short hey I think it was like 30 32 or 34 that's one. solid that's, I feel like it's medium yeah, I would give you I would say oh, maybe just 80 because you're black <laughs> you know what I mean? Like white guys, like me, I would go upper 70s. Pure athleticism. Yeah. Genetics. Look at a short area, a short, what is that, short area accuracy or short accuracy? Is that like quarterback? Six, that's yeah, quarterback. that's quarterback. Keep, keep, going. keep in the, the arrow. Spot. Aaron definitely does not a, play Madden. Tackle, 81. Well, that's Here we go. What do we got that's here? disrespectful for tackling. What's IBL? I don't miss a lot of tackles. Hover the, hover the pointer over the IBL. Hit it. What is that? Impact impact blocking rating. Oh, wow. So you can block. That's a solid. Your block, your block is pretty solid, dude. Yeah. 74. Your tackling is 81. How do you feel about that? That is a... Uh, Bush well, league. Yeah, that's terrible, I feel like. Dude, you're a yeah, good you tackler. Could, yeah, you're a solid you tackler. 87 at, at the minimum should be tackling. That's like what I do. What do you Zone have? coverage is a 70. Disrespect. Hey, your pass <laughs> rushing, your, your pass rushing, I would say that's solid. 42. Wait, 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 go back, wait, go back. Wait, Come on, Aaron, go back. What was the pass rushing? BSH is block shedding, 70. Was, I would, go back to the pass rush. I would agree that's with right, that. Pass rush is right here, 42. No, your pass rushing, no, no, that's press coverage. No FMV. Chance. FMV is finesse moves. That should be, you know. No, yeah, I know. That's what I'm laughing about. That should be in the hey, we'll be there watching film, and Jayon, he'll have kind of like the same move, and they want him to like work on his hips and stuff. He's like, Jayon's like, what do you want me to do here? Coach, like, I'm finesse, baby. <laughs> Coach is looking at him like, yo, what? He's like, I'm finesse, man. I'm finesse. Bro, I was number one in pass rushing as a linebacker. There's no chance that. I'll tell you what, though. That's here, sick. I know, and you're referring to PFF. 100%. But when PFF doesn't play in your favor, you want to shit on PFF. Oh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, you know what I mean? Work. It's like hard but, to. But the NFL kind of goes by that. Though. Three, you years, wanna, three yeah. years ago, I was, I was rated the number one tackle on PFF, and I said that then. I'll say it now. It's it, there's no way they know. How yeah, it's do Fugazi, they? That's why, that's I why I that like, how do they know how to grade each and every player that has a different like set of rules, different mm-hmm. playbook? Before, and, before like, I, I don't know how offense, they grade people. The offense we run now, before we got this offense, I would have never 
have understood how to grade it not being in it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dennis Kelly said he had a dude on the Eagles. His brother went to become a, um, like, try to work with PFF. He, like, emailed them. He's like, I love what you guys are doing. Like, I want to be a part of it. Right. And they emailed them back. He's like, they're like, all right, well, what's your, what's your level, football level of experience? He's like, oh, I played JV football. And they emailed him back and said, well, all right, grade all these games and give us your grades. And that was it. And he was, he worked with PFF. And I mean, that was like five, six years ago, but I don't know what they're doing now, but, but a lot of those guys, I think Colin Coward. Yeah. And a lot of, I, I think some of those dudes are like heavily invested in it. So right. it gets pubbed up super hot. There's an agenda going on. There's, There's some, definitely an agenda. There's always an agenda. Some yeah, propaganda bro. going on. And I'm saying, I said that back when I was highly rated. I, I'm like 15th tackle this past year or whatever. But yeah. Man That's coverage, a, 65, that can be a little better. They can help you out on that for sure. That's what I do. But what would you rate yourself? As man coverage? Yes. I will put myself in probably like a, I would say 80. 80? Yeah. I, I could 80, 80, maybe 80. get on board with that. I Any would say higher? 78, 77. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Because man coverage, like, that's reserved for, like, rating DBs. So if you have a DB that's, like, a 70-something overall, his man coverage is probably an 80. And he's probably a better cover guy than you. You know what I mean? I do that. Like, if you're out there that. on an island. But I would. I would rate you probably the one of the better man coverage linebackers. I would like to see who else is rated that way. Yo, I had no idea there was this many stats. There's a lot, I dude. No they idea. put a lot into it. I've been on the island a couple of times. You have, no, no doubt. For sure. I like. I wasn't trying to say that in a tripping no, 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 way. I got I'm just I got you. playing devil's advocate. Hit the hit the. What do we have here? Press coverage 81. Hey, that's solid. That is smooth. That is smooth. smooth. I'll give you some <laughs> press coverage people though. Uh, running backs, you know, line up at number one receiver, and go out there and press. Yeah, I didn't know that. I know that's how it works at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know how to play left tackle. Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, your uh, pursuit eighty four, solid. Smooth. That's probably open field, I would assume. Yeah. Your stamina eighty seven, injury ninety. That's solid. Eighty seven stamina. That's cool. So it's not. It's not a. <sighs> Seventy five is what's bullshit. The stuff that makes me a linebacker is very low. That's just, that's what it is. Yeah. Yes. Tackling. Like tackling. What did they say your tackling was? 80? 80. 81, I think. It was, it was, it was trash. Bro. Yeah, your you're going to your, your what? Your three? Your three, yeah. So, but like, coming off his best year. Yeah, well, yeah, there's only been two, Will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, let's not pretend like the dude's been, like, you know what I'm saying? His best one yet. Well, I had hope so. The rookie year usually doesn't go as well as the rookie <laughs> Do you think, do you, uh, like, playing for the Titans? Do I was you, trying to pub you. Honestly, do you think that, like, we don't get enough love because we're in the smallest media market? We're not really talked about. People don't want to give a shit about the Titans outside of Nashville. Yeah, hundred percent. You think so? Yeah, like there's See, not many. Like when I go back home on the West Coast, there's not many Titans fans. No, I don't. Yeah, it's I, for sure growing. It's definitely, like, dude. Actually, it actually is growing. Yeah. When I first got here, we were two and fourteen, three and thirteen, and like I, not joking, told someone I got drafted by the Titans, and they're like, "Oh, is, is that arena? Is or is that?" I swear to God, wow. that's not even a joke. Do you swing on him? No, no. <laughs> I, don't I, fucking I just told him I was like, hey, it's, me, the, it's yeah. the NFL, man. But <laughs> no. the thing is, like, hey, Titans are making a little comeback, though. You know what's crazy? The my rookie year, we made the playoffs and went. We almost made the AFC championship. We almost, well, not almost. almost we we, we went to the second we round. Went to the second got, round. So we got killed by the Patriots. Yeah, started off hot though. That first quarter was solid. Oh man, I was it was it was amazing. So I go back go home that off season, and like people were still like, yeah, Titans Titan suck. Oh come I'm on, like man. what like. We made the playoffs. They were like, oh, you did. It's like, we're just not. That's just crazy. Yeah, it just goes over. I feel like head. in the AFC, in even the NFC, there's like those those main teams. You got uh, the Patriots. You got the Steelers. Like teams like that. The 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 Chiefs. Chiefs now. Yeah. Chargers. You know, I always had the Broncos, but like they weren't, the last couple of years, they haven't been, they won the Super Bowl like five, less than five years ago, so they're going to get love for sure. Yeah. But I'm saying all those teams are really good. I don't mean any disrespect by that, but I'm saying like the NFL will g grab a team and just like the, the, the NFL like networks will just pub them and make them huge. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, I mean, if someone's on TV more, like right. in the 90s, the Cowboys were on TV all the time. Now they're America's team. Yeah, I mean, and they have so much love everywhere. Like, yeah. They have an, an incredible amount of support. We just need to get into the point where we play well enough to where we start getting those main games. When we get in those Thursday nights, those Monday nights and Sunday nights, you win those games. And that's how we That's how we do it. And then it translates to better Madden ratings. Yeah, and then it translates <laughs> to better Madden <laughs> ratings. Exactly. Dude, they're smart, though, man. Like... There's definitely trolling. That, there's definitely trolling that goes on. Like, I mean, eighty one is they, they troll. 
they don't have to market that we do it for them. We're doing it right now for them. Right. People are going to yeah. talk about it. Like you, you made a video. You immediately want to. We all want to tweet like about our matter rays. Like yeah. they know what they're doing. Yeah, they know how to kind of chirp and troll. Like I'm sure they sit back and see anything in the media, and they 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 know what they're doing, man. I see Tyron Matthew, dude. He's he's tweeting about everybody. Yeah, he's tweeting about that. Deshaun Watson. He's tweeting about uh, Kevin Byard. He's tweeting about every like everyone. They don't have to market. We everybody we all do it for them. This is a people egos are so huge in the NFL. Huge. When man. you're dude, like with egos, if you just spice a little thing up, like that old thing with me and Big Cat, which yeah, we got over right, yeah, because I apologized. Because <laughs> <laughs> we apologized. <laughs> Nothing. That's dude. it. We, we don't even gotta say no more. Ago. I love that you asked that question too. Yeah, I love it. It's it's over. It's done. That's good. Um, I don't know what he's like, yo, how, how how confident and secure are football players? I, I don't know. I, wait for a Madden rating to come out, and you'll see how secure they are. <laughs> <laughs> Just so, so insecure, like, yo, what the? F- yo, I'm way better than that. Yeah, bro. It's crazy. like, like, who, dude? I hate it when people like tweet at me, like, you gave up three sacks in my game. It's like, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I do not care at all yeah. about what you because I, I, I don't play the game. I don't really play video games like that, but. I don't know. I tell you what, though. I think football players, not just football players, all athletes, really athletes, artists, and musicians are so, like, incredibly insecure. Can be. Because they've been crutched their whole entire life of, like, hey, you're such a great football player. You're so great at this. You're so great at that. Like, you hang your hat on one thing. Yeah. You don't get to develop those other things as fast as maybe other people do. I, I don't know, man. I think, I think we can develop certain skills and things like mentally that uh, that we might have a head start on for people that kind of just go through and don't play sports and anything like that. Because, yeah, I mean, we get kind of cradled sometimes, but not when you first get to campus, not when you're first playing like varsity in football, not when you're like trying to come to the ranks and your parents are hard on you because they know you're good. And then when you first get in the NFL as like a rookie, you know what I mean? Like, I think there's some, sports I don't know about sure, fully... Like- I see what you're saying. A pathway for like, oh, you know, I, being like, like playing driven, sports, man, and like playing a in a, in a like all we do every day, all, athletes. It's just what have you done for me lately? And 100%. you live in that world, so you're constantly like the human element takes over, where you're kind of like that insecurity <laughs> comes out because you're human. But like you're you, we've lived in a performance based world on a daily basis forever. Like Taylor and I, when we're doing the pod and we're working with different people, like we're learning, we're learning how we have to coexist and manage people a little better than the way we're used to it because we're used to being shit on in front of your team. We're used to just everybody being hard on us, and we have to get over it in an instant. Yeah. Like when you have a bad play and people, we're all on you on the sideline, like yo, Jay, on move, you know, because you're young again, right? Yeah. And you're kind of going over, and Wes is around you. We're all around you, kind of corralling, like. There's different factors, bro. I think there's a lot that plays into that we get to go through that other people don't. Like they might just go through maybe their parents' wallet, or maybe they make their own way in college, and then they get to the real world, and they're kind of finding that yo, it's not, uh, you know, let me hold your hand. It's yo, you better fucking do this, or you're fired. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I definitely get what you're saying. There's, there's, the development of a human being playing sports is so good in so many different ways. Um, teaching a kid, you know, how to how to be a teammate like it, being a teammate to somebody being a good teammate is not just something you would do in football it would be something if you were to get married uh, how you yeah, would handle the yeah. people and stuff like that the, all mm-hmm. those things those definitely correlate to the rest of the world um, hard work ethic is huge organization like understanding breaking down things whether it's learning uh, you know defensive coverages or I learned pass like you know pass protections and stuff like that those things all break down and translate into the real world but the things I'm talking about is like we get crippled in such a way like like you said, when we work with like uh, other people and we're we, we're doing this, like if you send me some, if you send me something on social media or you send you send me a text, I mean, I'll, I'll just be like, that's stupid or that's rap. But there's really nothing in between. There's no gray area. Cool. Jay, I went to like a nice little high school. Yeah, you you're privileged. Oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't. Whoa, what? You're privileged. privileged. Long Beach Poly is not a like. It's a nice school. Don't get me wrong. You're one of the few privileged black guys out there. You're you're capping right now. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Capping. It is a. Uh, Kevin, I'll say it's Don't like, say if you you're not telling it. truth, pretty much. Like, you're overemphasizing the truth. Did you go to a, a financially solid high school? Did you go to a rich high school? No, not at all. Didn't you guys have pink jerseys? Like, didn't you guys have different unis? Yeah, yeah. We're like one of... Uh, Alternate uniforms? It's yeah, like, we're like, like $40,000 like, like, for a uniform. Yeah. We're like, we're like Adidas, like... Like experiment school, like when all that. Oh, so like, you're we're, sponsored by Adidas. When I was in high school, yeah. We were, so we were they right like now. threw us. They threw we're us. We're not right now. Yeah. Um, 
No, it was Rydell, wasn't it? Probably. Like we we came Who from the schools that your your head coach would bring you guys in and be like, he'd be looking at the East Bay magazine and hey guys, which jerseys do we want? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the kind yeah, of high school yeah, we yeah. were at. You were sponsored by Adidas. That's sponsored the first by Adidas and so we're not capping, is what I'm saying. No, you're capping. Like I didn't go to no pri- like the private schools in in like you know Los Angeles County. Like those, they're not. It's like they look like you know some good like mini city mini colleges. colleges. Yeah. Yours so, probably looks like a little mini city college. No, nah, no, nah, it's not that nice. They just redid their uh, football field. They got like all turf, so that's really nice. Oh, so that's an expensive school. The first school I went to was like, <laughs> first school I went to was like, we were sharing helmets out there. Oh, it's disgusting. It wasn't great. What was the first face mask that you, that you had in uh, football? Damn, I don't even know. Did you have a butt cage? A what cage? Like the bu- booty cage. I think I, a butt cage. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> look up, uh, look up. Taylor Lewan freshman year. This is Taylor Lewan high school. Cause I I rocked that I rocked that. Um, what was the Revo? My senior year. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, Yo, you're a fucking stud. <laughs> but before I, I was rocking that like Tom Brady from two years ago. That basic the ass old, helmet. Yeah, yeah, I was rocking the basic boy. So this this yeah the school with the white jersey. That's the school I transferred to. That's like the richest school in Arizona. Like kids kids were going to school in like Benzes. Really? Damn. BMWs, yeah, and I was rocking a 94 Ford Taurus, dude. I call it the Clit Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I call it the Clit Taurus. I was a Clit Commander, dude. Did you have a training staff at your high school? Uh, we had a... Like, by training staff, like, what do you mean? Like, did you have, like, a, fit, like a PT there, or like, an oh, athletic no. trainer? So we, had, so we had, like, it was always, like, an athletic trainer from, like, uh, Long Beach City College. Or, no, Long Beach State College. And, like, they'll be, they'll be, like, the head person, and then everybody under them will be, like, high school kids. Or it'd be like two gotcha, college gotcha, kids, gotcha, like, gotcha. you know what I mean? So yeah. When you uh, uh, we had to wrap this up, but like, when why did you decide to go to UCLA? I know it wasn't the uniforms. Uh, no, it wasn't big recruit out of high school. Only had three offers: UCLA. First one was Colorado, and then the next week was Colorado State. And you know, you got I got those like back to back. I'm like, yeah, oh, they're Boulder all to start was sick. Pouring in, yeah, Boulder Boulder was sick. Boulder is, a and nice uh, I remember I went to I went to Boulder. Uh, they had a like a football camp down in San Diego. I went down there and it was like, I was about to commit. I had it like in my head. I was like about to commit down there. And I went down there and you know how they, like, you know, you wanted the, like the kids with scholarships. Like, so you're, you're not doing shit. Like you're just chilling on the sideline. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Watching like, I'm not about to do this. <laughs> and, uh, so I'm going down there talking to the coach and he's like, I'm talking some bullshit. Like, yeah, we don't know what position you'll play. Like you're kind of small. You're you're like you're kind of too small for linebacker, and like you're more of a safety size because you don't have a lot of weight. And I'm like, like what, like, what you talking about right now? Like, so I didn't just get a good vibe from him. And I was like, I was like, yeah, like I'm I'm over y'all. So damn, Boulder was out the question. And then there's zero chance I was going to Colorado State. So now there's only one left. There's. Yeah, and then, well, I didn't have I didn't have that till uh, the like after my first high school senior, uh, senior year that game I got to UCLA and I was like, you were going there no doubt. Lock yeah. that thing. How you like playing for Vrabe? Vrabe's cool. He, he, you know how he was with me that <laughs> first year. Does he still was, calling you a lot in the squad? Every meetings? meeting, man. Yeah, every bro. meeting, and, dude. And I you love know that. me like my. <laughs> it'll be uh, what, what was he asking me like like. Uh, why do we? Why do we? Uh, Call a weak side bunch, weak side B. That 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 stuff. was one. Like it's always one thing, and he'll keep asking me the question. I like, and I'll mess it up in some type of way. Yeah, like I if I, I like, I'll give him the right answer, but if it's not his answer, it's right. wrong. So it's cool though. It, it, it's for sure. It's slow, mellowed out a little bit from a lot actually from what it was last year. So we're making we're making we're making baby strides. Yeah. yeah. How's the how's the LB room? It's not the same without you, man. It's not yeah. the same without you, like. You know, Ty is Ty's having fun. We're all having fun in there. But it's probably know, better Ty, for it's probably uh, now that he's in his second year too. Yeah, he's probably it's, it's hitting fun, a bit, he's high, probably hitting a better stride. Just miss you know miss the remarks in there, man. Just a little comments, the oh, side comments. Man. Yeah, it's not the same, bro. <laughs> well, who knows? By the time this drops, maybe I'll be back with the boys again. Oh, but maybe I'll lovely. be somewhere else. It'll be. We'll all lovely. be rooting for each other. Oh yeah, no doubt. You know, I still got your card in my locker. Oh, the uh, it's, it's football right, card it's right there. Like, love every time it. I open it. You got a Will Compton football card. I got a Will Compton football card. <laughs> but it, it's hey, it's, birthday's it's, coming up. <laughs> 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 All right, bro. Thanks for coming on, man. Man, appreciate it. You have fun. I had a blast. You better boost this thing too. 
make up for just, not knowing just we're subscribed I'm posting on Instagram and all yeah. that exciting stuff wait wait can before we get off sure. can you guys tell me like how that conversation went before I listen what to it yeah well, it's actually super easy for us to tell you how it went just go and subscribe to Bustin' with the Boys oh and go God. look up our, our video episode with uh, Mike Vrabel and it's he sits right there, and he was so disrespectful the way he put his feet up right here. Like you know, how I put my feet up like this. He, had <laughs> he his came feet in up where I couldn't put my feet up. He's like, "Hey, Daddy's really homeboy." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, he gets with me all the time. Always saying that dad stuff yeah. around me. It was yeah, fun though. He's 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 a, he's a rad cat for sure. No, it looked, it looked like a blast though, for sure. I wish I could have sat in on that one. That'd have been <laughs> hilarious. It was like it was it was. You fun. could by just listening. Yeah. Would you cut your meat off for a Super Bowl? Would I cut my meat off for a Super Bowl? Yeah. Now I feel like I can win one like normally. So sure. Ooh, what if there was solid. no? What if there was no chance of you winning one without cutting your meat off? Do I get like 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 cut like cutting it off off? Yeah, like, like you're a Ken doll. Yeah, like in Game of Thrones, you're like the Unsullied. Yeah, that ain't happening. Yeah, that's fair. I said yeah. the same thing. Yeah, I, I, I need I need it. <laughs> I need it. Quentin's back there. He said, uh-huh. "What if you knew you were going to win three <laughs> Super Bowls in a row and be the MVP of two of them?" I have no like. I need kids. Okay, uh, that was yeah. just a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you single? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're out there and you're looking at my man. boy, Jayon Brown. Pull him up. Like, ooh, pull what a good looking, looking chocolate good, man. man. Hey, go and slide in the old DMs. Sli- you know All what? Right. Go to go to Taylor DMs first, and then he going to qual- do the qualification test, and then they'll send it over to yeah, me. Yeah, so slide in my DMs, and me and my wife, so don't get any ideas, we'll look it over. And we'll 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 pick out the best ones for Jan. Yeah, they know, nice. they know they know me pretty well. So seventy five percent dark chocolate. Oh. oh yeah, talk to him, Will. Talk to him. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been, <laughs> he said, yeah, talk yeah, to talk, talk to him. Will. Talk. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me try again. Would you kick Taylor's two year old in the face <laughs> for a Super Bowl? Yo, <laughs> Yo you're gonna get murdered if you do. No, that's Yo. me. I'm just a bystander. I'm just asking the, the question. Don't kill the no, messenger. You don't fuck with you're the talking bean, about bro. the bean. Yeah, I this is the your bean. response. I love this the, bean. The, the, the two people outside of me and my wife that love the bean are here in this bus. You and you. Quentin Nelson and J.M. Brown love the fucking bean. I love the bean. You do oh, love hang the on, bean. hang on. Well, what's that? You always, uh, the only, the, every time I think about you and the bean, she always looks at you and goes, uh, Go. she'd, be, she'd be like, because you can't really talk. And we'll be like, look at her and go, no, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like, yo, she's one. Like, give her some time. So disrespectful to my daughter, dude. Dude, I love the bean, man. Will's super disrespectful to my life in general, but. Hey, they, you, know I'm, you know I'm dope to the bean. She always yeah, gives me everything, no, dude. The bean's we we have a good little relationship. The thing with the bean is, dude, is there's no, re- there's no way to hate the bean. She's the, the most rad kid of all time. She's a stud, man. No doubt. She's awesome. All right, we're solid. Pot over. Here. We're solid? Drop the hook. <laughs> <laughs>